Hello and welcome to episode 7 of my Let's Play series on The Walking Dead. And we're gonna continue on with our quest to save that chick stuck up in the motel or whatever. We got ourselves an awesome weapon. Help. Lee Everett, the axe killer. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. This is gonna be sweet. Let's see here, I got my axe ready just in case. Gotta chop some heads off. Nice. Ooh, rat. Chopped his head clean off. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Come with us. We will find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up! Please! Whoa, 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 whoa! Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... Oh, no! No! We had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy.
I think we should check up on um, Glenn. I think he should be here. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. Yeah, right. Ch check up on Clementine before trying to get outside and peek a look. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Gotta walk around here. How about you, Kenny? How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Come on, Doug. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Whoa. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear than us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. It could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all cheat up and... Shut up, Doug. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. 
It's a combination lock. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Come on. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Mm. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Can't believe that worked. Well fucking done, Doc. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Seems like we gotta take a risk. Break the window. Might make enough noise to make them notice. Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? brother here even though he is a zombie Gosh. get it aim for the head dude Now he's dead. Real. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Run, dude.
I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. I think you're gonna end it here so thanks for watching and I hope you stay tuned for the next episode and if you haven't subscribed to the vega.com community channel already I recommend you totally do it Vega.com LP, let's play, make way for Nam while the fiance Get lost in this walk through, live in the game Just drop the beats and make way for the brains Haters go rage through UIT, gamers wasted in MORPG Don't forget your buffs and hey, don't we crazy Six the fun bits, let it show you the way Staying up late, making lots of noise One up to the first 100 coins You gamers don't play with the blocks and toys Transcend to a place that don't exist in space You need help, please come into the LP It's Cal Lewis on the mic, I mean We smoking that vice, drinking some nice Vega.com, please come subscribe Thank you.